In this lesson, we're going to have a look at calculating the area of a rhombus and a kite. Now, even though these are two different shapes, they have the identical equation for calculating their area. And it's very straightforward. Once you've identified that a shape is either a rhombus or a kite, you can use this formula here, which says the area is equal to half times A times B. And if you look at the diagrams, you can see that A is the long diagonal and B is the short diagonal. So we only need to know the lengths of the diagonals to work out the area of these shapes. Now let's have a look at a rhombus first of all. You'll notice a rhombus is similar to a square in one sense, and that is that all the sides are equal. But the main difference is that the angles are not equal to 90 degrees. So it's like a square being pushed over. A kite, on the other hand, isn't like a rhombus in, in the sense that the sides here are equal, but down here, these sides are not equal to the top sides. So in other words, a kite has got adjacent sides equal. But as I said earlier, the formula for working out the area is identical. So let's work it out for the example. We need to write down the formula first. So the area is equal to half times A times B. And A and B are the diagonals. So half times A, we can take this as 7.5 metres. And B, 3 metres. And when we multiply these together, half times 7.5 times 3 gives us 11.25 square metres. Remembering again that the units for area are square units. 